his daddy. Oh! <laughs> Jeez! First fish is a cutthroat. Oh. Yeah. So that was a nice seven. It's a big cutthroat. Here, come all, all the way on this side. Over that. Oh, under? Over. Under, under. Yeah, this is a big cut through. Are you just... Yeah, that's a, nice that's a long one. Here, show the camera. Oh, d double. There, grab that one. We need to get the rods in the water. Oh, I know. Okay, well, this just nice running. cutty go. See ya, buddy. I think he just hit him. I can't tell. Out to 120. That's what happened one time when we were in the boat. What? Oh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Well, that's striking hard. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good fish, whatever it is. What happened on the boat? Ooh, good fish, that one. A chigger? Yeah. Why are I, why can't I open these down the ribs? Clips. Just got a pinch hard. Oh. I just need to get one thing. Yeah. Okay, how deep? Uh, go down. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Maybe that's the same one. <laughs> it looks like it. It looks like it. I don't think it is, but this is it a good one. That's a good. Nice mock mock patch. That's a good like. The rubber ram broke. I'm having oh, oh good fish, good fish. Good fish. Still on. Quick one. Yep, still on. Oh, Dad, get the net, get the net. Okay. Dad, 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 Dad. Coker. It's a head shaker. Big one right here. here. Uh, is it a kokanee? I don't know. There's a big kokanee right here on this one, though. Okay, grab it. The huge one out there. Oh, oh yeah, he's a head shaker. Let's see what this guy is. It's a rainbow. A rainbow? This one came clear off the downrigger, that one. Okay. Um, Where's we'll that one off? Right now. We'll just set it right now.
special medic here. This one wants to go this way. Oh, this one's a big fish river it is one. Right right over here. Ooh, big kokanee. Nice kokanee. Okay, I'm gonna have you do it in the middle, Stella. Oh, we tripped double. Just, just leave it, just leave it. Leave it for a second. We tripled up here. Oh, this rainbow. Okay, I'm gonna have you get it on this side here. Slab kokanee. Okay, grab oh my the other gosh. Dog. Uh, oh. Did he get off? I think so. Oh my gosh, look at how big that is. <laughs> that is a fatty, fatty kokanee. Yep. Oh. Don't drop it in the water. Please. Step down. Okay, do you want to let go? Right here. Move, move, like the net. Transition. Just let go. You can let go of the net. That's a big one. That is fat. Another rod. <sighs> Poor rainbow. Let's let this guy go again. Oh my gosh, as soon as I set the rod down. Here, take the rainbow it's off. A very quality kokanee. That's a good one. Micro shrimp. Great soda micro shrimp. Okay, whatever I have on that here is the head shaker. Okay, Dad, just focus on getting that rainbow. Yeah, I'm gonna get this rainbow off. Probably dragging a cut. That's why I just couldn't strike it. What is that? A uh, rainbow? Rain. It's a foul cut. But yeah, it's a rainbow. He's hooked it, he just... Okay, let's re-tip those and get these out. Lots of action this morning. And we also let that big kokanee go out for a little bit while we were focusing on the rainbow. I know. But we didn't know it was a rainbow. Came off the downrigger. Came off the downrigger and then just ran. Is it still on? I don't think so, but it came off the downrigger, so I have to bring it up anywhere. Strike. Okay, we're struggling. We don't have if we have zero poles in the water. <laughs> yeah, let's, we need to fix that. So we're out here today. It is mid June. Fishing Strawberry Reservoir for Kokanee. So this year, 2021, the season started a, a little bit slower than last year. Last year, if you remember, the ice came off early and by this time, by the beginning of June, it was hot out here. Um, so we're second week of June. Things have been a little bit tough, um, honestly, catching fish. Uh, we've been able to catch them every time we've gone out, but it haven't limited out every time. So uh, we're hoping that it's getting better. So far, 
made one pass on our route and caught a really nice 19 and a half inch kokanee and several rainbows and cutthroat. So hoping that things are starting to stabilize and fishing will start turning on. Yeah. Another one on grape soda. Typical. I'm gonna have to throw some oh, more. Oh, oh. Grape soda's on. Good one. Good one. Why is this real like messed up? Ooh, kokanee. Ooh, kokanee. Good fighter this morning. So Bo Kokanee so far this morning, scrape soda lure with this dodger. in his mouth. Oh. It's a... Uh... Oh, that one's hammered. Another grape soda hookup. Oh, kokanee. Run it down. Of course, as soon as I open them, on, go. He's fighting like a coke. He's wanting to go this way. Just keep tight. He's still on. He's still on. Thirty. I'm crossing. He's cut. Yeah, you can see the open mouth. I could tell because it was like, it was like dragging. Okay, oh, wow. bring it over here and I'll... Yeah, that's okay, a head shake. Yeah, yeah it, it, it is. That's, that's a fighter cut. Oh, it's it. a coconut. It felt like it, huh? Oh, cool. Maybe 
Adventure 13. So now I'll explain how you're setting it down to your pretty camera. You can maybe you can't this up to you. Just tell them what you're doing. So wash my hands and and now I put some pink gulp maggots on these. UV light, if you haven't tried it, it actually makes a huge difference in lighting up well in the dark. You could just use your phone, but this is like like way more efficient and way better. It is. This grape soda lure has glow in the dark beads and it's colored with glow in the dark. So they, they glow, I think that makes a, a difference for sure. Yeah, especially down deep in the water where the coconut you can see it. And then drop it 60. Yeah, we're going about 60 feet behind the down under ball today. So 60 foot setback. Another, it's a rainbow. rainbow. I've been catching rainbow. rainbows today. Yeah. Oh, that's the third rainbow. That one hit hard. Oh! Just reel it in, just reel it in. This one's down deeper too. <laughs> he just dropped it down deep. Okay, how far do I go? Go 50. Out? I know this trades you weight, so you can take this weight and put it on. Nice little exchange going on here. Use of our resources. Got the net. Oh no, it's, it's a, a coconut. coconut.
drop him back in the water again. Open the lab well. Oi! 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 So don't think it hammered it, Dad. I, it. I think this is a coconut. Dad, grab the net. It hammered it. Turn off the copyright music, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's to the top. Oh, that's a good sign, usually. Take it to this side if it will. Okay, just all the way over. He's just gliding, you know? Yeah, well, there's also ones that drag, and then the whole time, and then the very end, it's a giant token. Why is this, like, jamming? for the size. Okay, you want this one down? You're, you're up. I guess I'll reel in the Fresh planter rainbow. Look at that guy. Look at that. Look at that chunky. Yeah, that's what I
We are in the middle of a mid-morning slowdown, so I decided to give my boat a little cleaning. I've got an onboard washdown pump on my boat. It makes it easy to spray things down, agitate it with a rag, and then with another dry rag, just wipe things down. It does a good job of, of getting things clean. If you don't have a washdown kit and have carpet, um, you could dump water or just get some, some really wet rags, soak everything up, and then just wipe it down with dry rags. We also discovered we're in an area with lots of hungry planter rainbow trout. Um, because of that, we weren't finding too many kokanee that wanted to compete with them. So we decided to pick up and move to a different area. That's one thing I found. If you're not catching kokanee, sometimes you're better off just to move and find another spot where they want to bite. Oh, fish on Okay, down. This could be poop. It's fighting good. Ah, oh, why is it wet? It's like cleaning the boat. Literally every kokanee on that lure today, grape soda. Oh my gosh! Right as I'm I peeing. I thought you grabbed it. No, Why didn't you grab peeing. it? Because I was peeing. I thought you were acting like, now my feet are wet. That's <laughs> okay. Oh, it's still there. Bring it to the side. Is he big? He's pulling a line. He's pulling okay. oh, this might be a big Okay, hole. over here, over here. Yeah it is. It is. Look all the way all the way to this side. All the way flip over the, the top of that. There we go. Good fish. Oh, guess what it is? Mr. Cuddy. Mr. Cutthroat. Uh, no one has. Oh, down, down. Good one. Why can't you just grab it? Why do I have to grab all of this? Because you're, you're my, my fish lander. You're like, oh, I could drop a pole, but no, I have to get down to do it. <laughs> well, most kids would love to reel in all the fish. No, I don't want.
on him. You're like, I reeled in enough today already. No. It's because that's not gonna be a kokanee. <laughs> Just a disappointment. Not even leaning. No. You're like <laughs> stepping back. No, I was as hard as I could. It, looks, it has a big tail. I don't care. It's probably not a It's a baby coconut. Oh, it is a coconut. Look, you caught a coconut. I know, and I didn't even need the nut. Now I'm fish. Which one? Right. Right there, right there. America rocks. Quit pulling line. Fish. It's a head shaker. What do you think it is? I think it's a kokanee. Correction. I know it's a kokanee. You do? I bet money. You do? Are you willing to bet five dollars? Um, sure. Okay, if it is a kokanee, then I get five dollars. And if it's not, then nothing happens. No, then you owe me five dollars. No, no, yeah, no. that's that's the way it works. The odds are in my favor of it not being a kokanee with how it's been today. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. No, you can't pull it off. No, I think it is. It's a kokanee. I get five dollars. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. And we lost it. Why did you do that? No, down. No. That. Oh, I didn't have it. Right on it. I know. I know. And then after he was like. Okay, let's set that back up. That's. Uh, like out oh, right there down. Oh, oh, oh. Now what? I hit myself on the chair. <laughs> Why would you do that? I didn't mean to. Oh! Wait, my guy. Wait, 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 my guy. It feels like a tiny fish. Pull the hook. Grab Are you sure? No. It's... Grab the net. Okay. Grab the net. What is it? What is it? Just. I don't know. Just two seconds. It's silver. It's silver. It's silver. Okay. It's coke. Okay. Swoop. 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 Oh, we got it. I know. And that one right there. We would be done. What number is that? Number six? Drain it, drain it. All you have to do is turn on the motor, you know? 
gets her attention. Okay, this is a kokanee. This is a good one, Dallin. Hey, I just broke the curse by turning on the motor. Maybe. I broke the curse. Don't oh, get it's off. It's going to the top. Oh. I swear if it gets off, you're going to be like, oh, God, oh. <laughs> Is it a clip light? No. Alright. I think it's tangled in this other line though. Oh, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have to watch this. Should I reel this line in? No, 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 just leave it. Should I reel this line in? Say your fishy, fishy boy. It is a cutthroat. Hey. Hey, is hey, it? Fishy. No, it's a coconut. Go on, so I'm gonna try to just get it. It's gonna come off. Cheese! <sighs> he swallowed the other one. It's in his gill. What is? The other line is in his gill. Yeah, he wraps it. That's impressive. Have you ever seen that? That's crazy. The line wrapped around the fish. Oh yeah, the other. It swam across the other line. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll look it up. Just. Okay, I'll yeah, I'll I'll look up the mounting brackets and send you info on that. You can decide what one works best. A great day fishing at Strawberry Reservoir. We definitely still had to work hard to get our two limits of kokanee, sorting through the cutthroat and rainbow trout. The rainbows were plentiful today. You could tell they've recently stocked Strawberry Reservoir in some of the areas that we were fishing. They were eager to eat whatever we put in front of them. Still a great day on the water. Always good to get out with my boys. Time is precious. Take your friends and family out whenever you get a chance. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button on this video. Also, check out our website, kokanieaddictfishing.com. I've got a Kokanee 101 guide where I give the basics of kokanee fishing along with several links and tutorials. Also, make sure to check the description of this video where I'll link some of the products that we used today. Happy fishing and tight lines.